Hey everybody, I uh, received an email uh, from somebody on the list asking would I make a, a video on how I'm using uh, the new settings that I mentioned. Um, uh, again, I'd like to thank Sergey for all the hard work uh, that he's done to make this an incredible program, uh, not only over the years, but the continuing work with Q Spectrum and Bartels and everything. Uh, so thank you again. So anyway, um, what I'm interested right now um, uh, in the last couple of weeks was trying to see about um, a system that I'm thinking about with EuroUSD, um, starting uh, at the sort of the changeover before the Asia market begins, but after New York is closed. And in this quiet period um, with uh, no news and um, not a lot of volatility or momentum that it might be more possible or possible to more accurately predict um, the next two to four hours of price activity with the goal of only uh, gaining five pips but at high leverage and virtually 100% um, uh, success rate. So uh, five pips can add up pretty quickly if it's leveraged and um, uh, so here we have um, Q Spectrum open, and what I wanted to mention was if my time frame is two to four hours, I'm using 15 minute bars here, uh, that I've set the minimum and maximum number of bars uh, to 25 and 55, or six hours to 13 hours, or three times the time frame that I'm looking for. So. Um, Six hours is three times two hours. That's the one end of my, my goal, and the other is four hours, so that's 12, 13 hours. Um, <clears throat> I have to say, too, I'm looking for a nice, clean, simple sine wave, so I have F, S, M, and OV set down to one. And um, so let's take a look. So here was a, a quick calculation, and Click the highest peak. I'm right now using temporary Bartels and price bars because of um, looking at um, Sunday opening at 5 p.m. Um, and notice that I have a pretty nice little sine wave here that is catching this swing and this swing perfectly. And as long as those conditions are met, uh, the probability that this swing will continue is extremely high at, at this point. So uh, let's just take a look here. If I release that, and sure enough, it came right up through here. Um, it's sort of a no-brainer, but um, the extra security of, of looking at uh, pr price projection on top of the regular chart um, uh, adds a lot of security. Uh, one other thing that I'm grateful for is this setting called moment lag equals. <clears throat> so um, taking uh, this back and forth here um, to match the last swing is is the key here. So like um, if this was over here, notice uh, when this is at 16 that this does, uh, the curve is before these swings, so just dial it in here and make that match. And um, so I'm using back testing mode, and I've been going along looking at uh, opening after opening and finding that this process, since I Actually, I'm interested in an hour after the opening. I'm, I'm doing the calculation at a 100, and again, hit calculate, and erase, and that's going a little off there, so I'm going to use this one. It's a little shorter, and take the moment back. Whoops. Got to get this out of the way, trying to keep this on one screen here. So there's that swing. And so 
So here's the future and the price has gone up and yes I've gotten the five pips. It went up 15 so all's good here. So <clears throat> the same process is, would work well for any time frame uh, and I think the key is to define your time frame um, and also um, one other word I wanted to mention, I've, I've talked about this in the past, is how do we know um, precisely whether we have an inversion ahead or not? How do we predict inversions or how do we account for them? So once again, let's go forward another day here and calculate, grab the peak. Um, I like this swing very much, so I'm going to leave uh, moment lag where it is at 22. And as price started, uh, uh, as I take a trade at uh, 6 p.m. Eastern uh, or 6:15, uh, price was heading down, and that's all I need to know is whether I'm going to get the five pips or not. So I uh, take profit at five pips, and there was 20 pips right there. So. Um, this works as well for Q Spectrum, the regular one, uh, but I, I'm, I'm really liking Bartels right now on a temporary basis. Um, if, for instance, um, I saw this in, uh, situation here where price took the swing and this is low notice, um, the first there's a swing up and then down and that may be acceptable to you as well um, but um, back here so I'm, I'm constantly inverting <coughs> inverting cycles matching cycles the most recent cycles most recent swings on a very short time frame you know it's it's basically uh, two hours here from this high to this point and that's all I need, two, two to four hours to get going down here for my five pips. <clears throat> Let me pause it here and show you uh, my FX book, what it looked like for the last week. So this is on a uh, demo account um, using uh, MT4 and FX Choice to do the actual trading. Um, and it's not the EA, this is manual trading using the system I just showed you. Uh, with a 14% growth over five trading days. Um, so, um, and drawdown has been very minimal at 2%. Um, uh, the other feature is one trade a day. Uh, so I'm not over trading, <laughs> hopefully. And uh, so that's it. So thanks for your interest and good luck. Take care.